Sephora's first impressions of Patrick Star liquid liner and this is the look that I have right now and if you want to hear my thoughts uh, of his liner on someone with hooded eyes please keep on watching okay guys so this is what the box looks like and this is the eyeliner and that's the point of the eyeliner and this is something I'm familiar with so um, I have hooded eyes so my line when I'm doing my eyeliner is super super thin like very very thin so what I do is I have a fold on both sides of my eyes and I'm mapping that first because I want to make sure that uh, I don't go above the hood of my eyes and then I'm looking at it as, as you can see I start from the fold and kind of go on the inner part and I just start building it like I said I cannot go above that because it's just not gonna do it's not gonna look have a smooth line so I'm looking on the side just to see that my eye looks okay I'm gonna go back to the inner part of my eye and I have to make it super thin close to my lash line because like I said, I have hooded eyes. You don't want a thick line when you have hooded eyes. If not, it's gonna cover the whole lid that you have or the little bit of lid that you have. Okay, and I keep looking just to make sure that I'm covering what I need to cover. And again, I'm going on the outside, making sure that I don't go too, it's not too long. And I'm kind of measuring. And that's kind of how it's going to be. Like I said, um, a lot of people do the big long lines when they do um, their eyeliner, but when you have hooded eyes, you have to see where the fold uh, ends and see the fold ends right there. So that's kind of what I'm gonna do. So both of my eyes are a little different, so I have to go by whatever that part of my eye is. So again, I'm mapping it. And you want it to be um, to have a, a flow to the eyeliner. You don't want to uh, you don't want to break that line. So it's kind of what I'm doing. And even though I wish I would make you know my line longer, I can't. And again, it's going to be close to the lash line in order for me to be able to see my um, my eyeshadow. And I'm going to inner part of my eye. And that's kind of, kind of what I'm doing. It's very, very close to the lash line. And again, I'm thinking, okay, I need to put right there where I don't have any. And touching on the outer part of it. And I'm looking in the front just to make sure when my eyes are open that I can see the eyeliner and it's not breaking the line. And again, I feel like I'm missing a little bit on the inner part of it. So that's kind of what I'm doing there. And this is kind of what it is now. This is what, what I came up with. So the next step that I'm going to do, and I decided to add this step, is curling my lashes. Uh, a lot of times, certain eyeliners, when you're curling your lashes, it takes a lot of the eyeliner. It doesn't stick to... Um, the eye, uh, the lash uh, curler usually takes a little bit of it, so I just decided let me see what it's gonna do because I have issues with a few eyeliners. So, this is a Surat, and that's what I kind of what I have. Also, a lot of the eyeliners um, take a little bit, uh, get, they get a little stuck on the lashes itself. This is a Giorgio Armani and I'm just putting a few coats. But again, like I was saying, a lot of the eyeliners, um, when you're putting it on your eye, it gets stuck in the lashes. And then when you put your mascara, you have that little piece of, like, of the eyeliner in it. So I'm doing a few coats here with the Giorgio Armani, and this is not waterproof, this is just regular um, 
mascara. And this is another one, Roller Lash. Okay guys, so this is the look that I have right now and uh, you saw through um, my steps and what I do uh, in order to do my liner and this is for someone with hooded eyes. Since I have hooded eyes, I can't do like other people my liner going all the way down because I don't have enough uh, lid in order for me to do that kind of liner. I would have to do, there is a different way I can do my liner but it would be um, to cover the eyelid and it would kind of go straight up so when you look down, um, what do you call it, uh, when you look up you would have like a, a, a whole line, kind of like this. So the eyeliner would go all the way down, when you close your eyes it would have kind of, kind of like a V when you do it for, uh, and again, this is for someone with hooded eyes. And my thoughts on it, I don't know yet because I haven't worn this for uh, 24 hours. This is supposed to be for 24 hours. And this is the one. I'm gonna show you my holy grail, which is this one here. This is from LA Splash. This is my holy grail right here. And let me put them both together. This is my, this is my holy grail right there, and this is Patrick Star. So they kind of look very, very familiar to what I'm used to uh, using. Let me show you what they look like on my hand. That's the Patrick Star, and this is the Architect LA Splash. This one here is a Patrick Star, and this one here is my LA Splash. So they look very familiar, but I think the the Patrick Star is is darker. It's even blacker than mine. Let me do it again. Do it twice three times. That's a Patrick Star. And then I'm gonna do my, my LA Splash um, and see how it looks. One, two, three. Okay, so the one with the stars is Patrick Star. And the other one is my LA Splash. Here's from Close. The one with the star is Patrick Star. And my other one is my LA Splash. I'm gonna take it off with a wipe and see what it looks like. Okay, so I'm gonna try to take it off with a wipe and let's see what happens. They both come off the same. Okay guys, so this is what I have so far. And again, this, my eyeliner is, uh, the technique that I have is for someone with hooded eyes. So I have hooded eyes, and since I have a fold, I can only go so far. So this is what I do if, uh, this is what I do, or if you would do for someone with hooded eyes. Uh, like I said, you have another technique where you can go in and, you know, if you want something really, um, um, like if you're gonna go out at night or something, I could have gone where I could have done my liner going all the way up, kind of like this going all the way up and you, when you open it you kind of see a V but then when you close it you have that you know the edge going all the way up but I didn't want to do that I just wanted kind of some, just to see what it looked like um, and um, like I said I don't know yet I'm gonna wear both um, uh, one day and see which one I like the best if my LA Splash which is super cheap I think it's like eight dollars versus this one I think it was like 15 or 18 dollars I forgot how much it was um, so I'm gonna see which one it, it is the best I'm gonna wear it uh, not for 24 hours but as much as I can and then I'm gonna put something on this description box saying you know saying um, making comments of what I think is the best anyway guys thank you for watching my videos